Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 18.1 Beta 6. This newly released update from Apple for iOS 18.1 brings a ton of amazing new features and changes to iOS 18.1 and we have some amazing new features that have been added quite late actually on beta 6. I never expected Apple to actually add these many new features and changes but they're here so let's go ahead and take a look at this update and all the amazing changes that are coming to your devices. Now first of all taking a look at this update you can see that beta 6 is around 700 megabytes. This will be of course if you're updating from beta 5 if you're updating from a lower beta or maybe from iOS 18 to the beta of iOS 18.1 beta 6 in this case it will be of course much bigger. Now the build number for iOS 18.1 beta 6 will be 22B5069A. Ending with an A indicates that this is probably one of the last betas. Most likely we're going to have another one before it goes to the RC version and then it releases to the public. But we're going to talk about the release date in a few seconds here. Let's first of all take a look at the new features and changes that this update will bring to your iPhone. Now first of all will be this really interesting change with the notifications that you have on your notification center. So you can see here group notifications now will have a badge which shows how many notifications you have on that group. So you can see here where we have single notifications, they are not badged, but if we have two here, two in this case here, and we have five here, they all have a badge indicating the number of notifications that are on that group. Now, even though it says right here, five notifications, but this probably because I have the preview of the notification hidden, if you have them revealed, it will only show them on the badge. Now, Apple has made some amazing changes Changes with the control center on iOS 18.1 beta 6. Some much needed toggles have been added and you can see one right there. AirDrop is finally here. So when you go to add here a new toggle, if you go to connectivity, now you can dismiss this completely. Now previously I have added these ones right here and removed the bigger one which is by default on the control center. But if you remove this, you would have every one of them here, but it only missed the airdrop. So you had to have it on your control center. And now we have that individual one for airdrop. And also it has added satellite control for the connectivity section, of course, if you have support for your device or your country. And we also have other toggles that have been added for measure. If you go to measure right here, you can see we have measure and level as well. You can go ahead and now add them to your control center as you can see them right here. So all of these, of course, we have four new toggles that Apple has added with iOS 18.1 beta 6 to the new control center. And Apple has also changed the default layout of the control center with iOS 18.1 beta 6. So if you want to try that and see the new default layout for the control center, you can just go to the control center settings here, tap on reset control center, and you will see a new layout. Now, if you have two different phone numbers on your device, now you will have here a new interface that allows you to switch between the two different lines that you might have on your iPhone. So you tap right there, and you can see we have here data, and then we have primary. It will also change the letter there, of course, based on the name of the line. So it tells you what you're using, and of course, you can quickly go ahead and change that from there. Moving on to the notes app, we have something really interesting here. So you can see the new Apple intelligence button that has been added right there. Now it has a pencil icon on the Apple intelligence icon. That's really interesting because I didn't see this change anywhere else. It's just right here on the notes app. And now if you use Apple Music, you can share music to TikTok. Apple has added a new layout to basically share music from the Apple Music only if you use Apple Music, not if you have your songs on the library, directly to TikTok. When you go to search something on the settings app, you will see this right here at the top at the search bar. It says Ask Siri How, and you will get a step-by-step -step process on how to just change different settings on your iPhone. So let's just try it out. How to turn on location services. 
And there you will see you will have basically a step by step guide on how to change different settings on your iPhone. And we have a couple of splash screens as well. This one, Apple Intelligence in Mail, you will see this once you open the Mail app, priority messages right there, summarization and also smart replies. These are very, very useful. Now, of course, getting a lot of emails during the day and trying to respond to a ton of emails. The Apple intelligence features, as much as I have used them since summer with 18.1 beta, they are most useful on the mail app. It's actually amazing. You can just quickly write an email or reply and then just rewrite it with Apple intelligence. It actually does an amazing job. And we have another splash screen here for the App Store app. Once you open the App Store, you will see right here what's new on App Store and Apple Arcade, a more power powerful search. So of course, using AI, you can basically de describe an app or tags in order to find the app that you might need, even if you don't know the name of the app. And now let's talk about performance. So this is the latest score that I got on iOS 18.1 beta 6 with Geekbench 6. And you can see right here, we have an increase on the multi-core score. So it is at 7,061, while it was at 6,994. So there is a slight increase on the multi-core score, while we have right here a slight decrease on the single core score, 2,959 on beta 5. 2934 on beta 6 but overall the performance on ios 18.1 is actually quite good and now let's talk about the battery of course here we're talking about the beta 5 because we have to wait a few more days to see how it will perform under beta 6 but again taking a look here at what we have been using here on iOS 18.1 beta 5, you can see that the actual battery life is quite good. So right here, about 85% battery, eight hours, 50 minutes. Right here, we have 75% battery, six hours, 20 minutes. Right here, we have 100% battery, nine hours, 45 minutes, which is actually quite good. And we have to keep in mind that the battery health of this device is currently sitting at 91%, so the battery life is actually quite good with iOS 18.1, even though we have all the new Apple intelligence features and they will of course consume quite a lot of battery, but it's still very, very decent. So what's next? Well, as the rumors are claiming, iOS 18.1 will be released to the public on October 28th. So I would expect Apple based also on the build number of this beta to release another beta before they release the RC version of iOS 18.1 and then the public release. So another beta most likely will happen in two weeks or maybe the next week and then we will have maybe two RC releases. We'll have to wait and see for that. But expect another beta either on the 15th or the 21st of October and then again according to Mark Grumman who is our very trusted source when it comes to Apple related stuff, we should see this update going out to the public on the 28th of October. So that's the final release date for iOS 18.1. So that's basically it for this video, guys. iOS 18.1 is shaping up to be an amazing update with every beta. Actually, Apple is adding amazing new features, making this update even better. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.